Hi, this is Jim Hensel in Portland, Oregon. This is my whiz-bang chicken plucker uh, with a few modifications. First of all, you can see that I left uh, a couple of tall uh, corner pieces. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, this is a trapdoor chicken plucker, which means that uh, the chickens get flung out. You can see the door there with the pieces. And I'll come across on over here. And there's the door. There's where they get flung out when the time is up. This is pneumatically operated. So here's the business end of the chicken plucker. Uh, let's see if I can take a view underneath here. It's a chain drive. And you can see the uh, jack shaft and then the uh, going over to the main shaft. I put it in between the supports. You get a good view of it. This is the uh, control module. I stuffed uh, two solenoid, uh, pneumatic solenoid valves and the power supplies for the various uh, components. The, the uh, computer runs on 5 volts, the uh, water solenoid runs on 24 volts, the pneumatics run on 110. Down here is a board that I had made. Um, that uh, takes care of all the controls. The only control for the chicken plucker is a start button and a, a timer knob. You, you can have less time or more time. Uh, I have it currently programmed so that the door is open um, and then when you hit start the door shuts and you throw the chickens in. Over here I have a master switch for the whole chicken plucker and what I showed you earlier this is a safety um, plug if you pull on that uh, it turns the whole system off and it's uh, it's attached across to the other side here so it's easy to easy to reach it turns off the motor it opens the doors just takes all the pressure off so let's see it run Standard chain driven 195 RPM chicken plucker. Now I'm going to hit the start button. See that the water started and the door shut. The door's now open. I'll do that again. This is standard plucker uh, finger pattern I did add. Down here you can see uh, some that are upside down to uh, sweep the bottom. And I did add, you can see maybe here, there's a, a uh, exit uh, for the feathers down below. 
That's it from Portland, Oregon. Now we gotta get some chickens.